What is up everybody, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be covering how to deploy your Vue.js app for free on GitHub Pages. Now, there's two ways we can deploy this on GitHub Pages. Um, and we can deploy it directly to, for example, uh, tylerpartsdev.github.io, which is my username, .github.io. And as you can see, we've got a little demo here, which shows a little Vue app or we can deploy it to, for example, we could deploy separate projects. So we can have project pages per um, repo. So for example, CSS only hamburger menu. And as you can see, you can see this one too. Now, I'm gonna quickly go through the second one first and we're gonna go into CSS only menu. So if you have a static site, such as a site that doesn't require a surfer or backend like Node.js or PHP, then you can deploy it to GitHub Pages. If you don't, if your site does require those things, then you will need to deploy it on something such as um, DigitalOcean or Heroku. Um, unfortunately, we can't deploy those sort of things to, it's more, so GitHub Pages is just for static pages. But anyway, let's continue on. So let's say we've just created this repo and we've pushed our static page, index.html and main.css. As you can see, there'll be no compiling needed to run this. Um, and we go over to our settings. So we can quickly scroll down. And as you can see here in your GitHub pages, this will normally be set to none, which disables GitHub pages. You just need to choose a branch. If you have multiple branches, you could have a deploy branch if you wanted to and select that. But for now, you should select master and it will refresh the page and bam, it will then work how it should work here, as you can see. Um, so that is just as simple as that. So if you have a stack page, that is how you can do it. But now I'm gonna show you the other way and how to deploy it to, for example, just your, whatever the name is of your thing. So let's go back to my home and I'm gonna try and see, I don't think there should be, good. Uh, good, it's from removed. So let's start off by creating a few applications. So first things first, obviously you need a few applications. So let's go to few, create, and I'm gonna call this few deploy. Now we're gonna use the first one, which is my few router setup. You can use however you want. You, um, this isn't again, a few tutorial. This is more of a uh, how to deploy a few app tutorial. I don't know if that made any sense, but I'll see you once this is done. Okay, by that's done, as you can see, it says here, CD few deploy. So we're gonna CD into our few application and then we're just gonna run NPM run surf. I'm also gonna open this up in my text editor. So you can open this up however you like. Bam, that is done. Why is this being, what just happened? I don't know. So we're just gonna remove this script tag and remove this because we don't need it. It's not necessary. Let's give this a H1 and say Tyler Potts. So our title is gonna be my name. You can name it whatever. And in H3, so it's a hair on my desk. Uh, in H3, I'm gonna quickly put welcome to my page. That's the H1 ending tag there, Tyler. Let's hit save. Come over to here, type in localhost 3000. Is it 3000? That's, no, it's 8080. 8080, and bam, there we go. But very simple. Again, this can be way complex if you want, as long as it's not got a backend or a PHP or a node surfer, because again, they need to be deployed on something such as DigitalOcean. Um, so we've got our Tyler Potts page and we've got an about page. Let's edit the about page to make it look a bit more pretty. So in here, we're gonna say about Tyler Potts. So just for reference, by the way, you can use, we'll give this a class that's centered. Um, you can use um, this to be your portfolio page. If you're going for a developer job and you want to show off some work you've done, you can create a whole static site. It can't be dynamic again. And you can deploy it like, for example, you could show off your projects you already made and stuff like that, links to all your projects, links to stuff you've done, all that in this page. And you can, um, 
so yeah so you can and then show it off to an employer send this link to an employer or whoever you're trying to get a job with and they may like it and be like yes that's amazing no one's going to fault you for not having your own domain although you can add your own domain to here but that would come at a cost this way is completely free so let's carry on so i'm going to add a style tag and then here we're just going to say centered that's centered 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 and we're going to say display block uh, width 100% max width that's not how max width uh, what am I doing I can't even type 450 pixels and we're gonna say margin zero auto hit save come back here refresh go over to about page and bam we've got some text we've got our name and we can switch between our pages so that's gonna be our basic app but if you think about this logically you could build a whole full-on like for example oh that's not my name you could build a full-on web page like this for just GitHub. Again, JavaScript and that all works. So that loader and that you can all do in this. You could build something similar to mine. Mine is very basic. Don't don't copy mine. Mine is just a placeholder for life. They're probably never going to change that. Uh, so yeah, um, you could build a web page like mine. Probably better for mine. I'd I'd try to do better for mine because it's not it's not hard. Uh, and deploy it to get her pages so now we've got this now the next part which is to do with deploying is you need to you can't just deploy this view instance which we've created to a uh, view so we can't just um, to get her pages we can't deploy um these files here because these for size you don't want this many files in there and secondly it's it's not that nice so here we're going to say uh, and secondly it won't actually run sorry and in here, we're just going to say npm run build. I'm actually going to stop this process here just because we don't want it running server now. So now if we press enter, it's now going to build our web application, our few application for uh, production. So once it's done, I'll let you know. Uh, it did right then. Lovely. I didn't even have to do any cutting or editing for that. Uh, my favorite type of uh, video. <laughs> So now if we go into back into our code editor, you'll see there's a new folder called distribution. And in this, you'll see all of your compiled stuff. So in the about, the about page there, the standard app stuff, and all that will be in its own CSS folders. Your index with a bunch of stuff, which looks very messy, but just know that's what few does. And all your JavaScript files. So for each page, uh, chunk vendors, which is actually, I believe, all your like, everything everything you need <laughs> uh, in javascript so now we've got this distribution folder we now need to go and actually deploy it so let's go over to github and create a new repository so new repository now if you want to deploy it to for example uh, your username dot github dot io you need to name it that so i need to say here tyler pots def dot github.io i'm going to make this exactly like mine with capitals but i don't believe it's necessary but maybe it is i'm just going to do that so i i know it's consistent um, and i'm just going to click create repository now it's going to give us all this i'm just going to copy these two here and in here we're going to cd into our distribution folder so let's make this bigger because my it's really hard why is my terminal so broken one second it never used to be this bad. We're just going to go for that, bam. Now let's zoom this in. Ah, look at that. <laughs> CD projects, 100 days of code. It is day, sef oh, day 70. And we'll CD into few, deploy, and dist. So in our distribution folder, we're going to run in here, uh, git init. We're going to say git add dot git commit dash m and we're gonna give this deploy because you might not you could name you could put any message in there by the way it doesn't have to de be deploy and then we're going to paste in the stuff we copied from github and hit enter and this is going to push our stuff live so now if we refresh the page as you'll see it's here so if you remember with the hamburger menu we had to go to settings scroll down and see at github pages you had to normally select a you had to select the 
branch, but because we did this, uh, because we've um, deployed it with the name of Tyler, with my username, github.io, it knows that this you're trying to deploy this to this link and it has already selected the master branch. So we don't have to change that. So your site is ready to be published. At, so if we open that up, site not found. Cool. So I think all we have to do is actually, uh, if I hit rename, posture name was not changed. Sometimes it takes a minute to update and There we go. Did I refresh this? And it errored. So we're going to go to tylerpots.github.io. And there you go. It is now deployed. My page is deployed. Um, so a little issue there. I don't know what happened. So I just had to rename it. Sometimes it doesn't actually update. So yeah, it says your site is published. Maybe you have to wait. Maybe I'm just impatient. Maybe it takes a minute to publish. It definitely takes a minute to publish. Um, so yeah. <laughs> As you can see, your page is now deployed. So guys, this was very basic video, but tomorrow we're gonna to be doing the exact same thing, but in React um, for those React devs out there. And then maybe in the future, you can also do it for Angular and stuff. I'm not gonna go with Angular because I'm gonna have to do a tutorial on Angular, so it wouldn't be right for me to deploy an app on Angular and not teach anyone Angular. Um, and again, you could do this with just HTML and CSS and JavaScript. It doesn't have to be a few app, it can be anything. So you can follow this path this route and just follow all the other steps but for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up button it always does help out and if you want to see more then don't forget to subscribe now i do have a patreon and at the end of this video you'll see all the patreons that are subscribed to me i thank them all very much they're all awesome and um uh, they're all massive support you can go support me the links in the description it's not a required thing you don't have to it just helps me buy coffees and keep me awake um but other than that guys thanks for watching check the uh link in the description for the discord channel if you want to go join that and i will see you guys in the next video peace out always do it on my own so i gotta get through it and the only thing i know is to love what i'm doing never give up never slow till i finally prove it never listen to the nose i just want to keep moving keep my head up when i act head up that's a fact never looking back i'ma keep myself on track keep my head up staying strong always moving on feel i don't belong tell my boss to move along push myself to be the best